All right, guys, I got a uh, automotive car stereo here. It's a uh, Sony Explode. 52 times 4 watts. And I got it hooked up to my home stereo system here. And I got that big sup and box hooked up to it. And I also got this 6 inch and, well, like 2 inch tweeter. Also that one over there, and also these two subwoofers down here, uh, if you can see it, uh, let's see, there we go, that's a uh, non-powered one, this one's a self-powered one that's connected to AC, that's, <clears throat> and they're all being powered by this uh, little CD player here. And, you know, it's only like a uh, 208 watt CD player for a car. And I got it going through a 2 amp power supply and I got all my wires hooked together and, you know, whatnot. But it seems like this thing has a 34 uh, range. Um, you can turn it all the way up to 34. But uh, it seems like at 25, it wants to cut in and out. It's like uh, it's these uh, chips here that get overheated because it's such a small heat sink. Uh, you know, I got too many speakers hooked up to it the way it is. That's why <clears throat> they're all different ohms and stuff like that. And uh, I can't go past 25 with it, or else it'll cut in and out. Now I put this uh, power supply here and these uh, Xbox 360 fans hooked up to it um, through 12 volts to the back of this piece here up against this heat sink and it never gave me an issue I could turn it all the way up to 34 if I wanted to so it's it's this piece here or these chips that are overheating and causing it to uh, uh, short in and out so what I did was I found a screw that would fit in here now it's not the correct one it's supposed to be an, an M4 times six screw which I don't care I'm just gonna strip this one in there it's it's a lot more coarse thread but it'll be fine if I ever have to I'll just drill it out retap it whatever if I have to but probably won't because it'll probably work um, but this heat sink here it's a 12 volt cooler master fan heat sink what I'm gonna do is mount it right over top of this here it looks like it will fit just perfect right over top of that and it won't even hit those ports or nothing so what I'll end up doing is taking my grinder and grinding off this these pieces there to make it real nice and smooth and I'll put a bunch of heat sink paste around here and then uh, drill a hole through this piece and go ahead and screw it down on top of that <clears throat> and then um, uh, splice these wires onto the power input on that which comes through this AC adapter there and then uh, it should eliminate the uh, overheating problem I know I made another video about this but uh, I never uh, put heat sink paste in between I just kind of tack welded it in with the uh, um, hot glue and it, it just it just never worked after that really I mean it did for a little while but it just it was never really real good so that's what I'll end up doing so uh, let's get to it alright so what I did was I took this off I drilled a hole through that and grinded this off flat and there's a couple of scuffs in it but uh, that'll work just fine there's a screw here I found out in the garage it didn't fit in this hole so I drilled and tapped it to this screw I could have went and got an M6 screw but I just said to hell with it I already had the uh, hardware out in the garage that would work so it fits so what I'm going to do is get some heat sink paste here, squirt it all the way around here, it's probably way too much, but uh, 
I want it to fill everything and all the little gaps that the, my little grinding wheel put in there and, and whatnot. And then pretty much I'll just set this on here just like that. Hit my screw. Pretty much lined up. There it is. It's pretty tight on there. So you can see the heat sink paste squeezed out on the sides there. And then right in here. Quite a bit on this side. That's alright. It's cool. Now we're gonna put our fan on. Cooler master. And there we are. Now I got a stereo here. With a heat sink fan on the back of the uh, chips there. And to power it, I'm probably going to do it later. Uh, I'll put it onto this uh, power adapter here on a switch. I've been wanting to make make it to where it's got 12 volts all the time. Just like in a car where, you know, the memory part of the stereo gets 12 volts all, all the time. And and uh, switched power from the key ignition will just be a little toggle switch in here. I've been met, meaning to do that for a long time now. I just haven't got around to it. So what I'll end up doing is hooking this up to my power supply. I got this big old fan hooked up to it, but here's my ground. And here's positive here. All I gotta do is flip the switch. And my fan's running. It was cooling that whole assembly off there. And I can hook it back up over here. And hook up power to the stereo. And yeah, 
And there we are. So that's how I uh, made that. To uh, cool off the stereo. Because every time you have it up above 25, it would just cut out and you feel the back of this heat sink here and it would just be extremely hot. I had something uh, similar like this hooked up to it and it was uh, pretty much just hot glued in. It was, there was no heat transfer pretty much. I thought it would work but it didn't. So this will work 10 times better. So that's cool.